sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's going to be a beautiful day that's plain to see. But I won't be around at all, so don't even bother to call. Cause on a day like today, there's one place I gotta be. This was the last Potomac Bassmasters Tournament of the year. It started off pretty cold, pretty close to freezing, but the water temperature was about 60 degrees. It started off with a buzz bait in a, a somewhat shallow cove. There's one. Uh, yes, I'll take a net. Yes, please. I don't think he's looked that good. Nice, good fish. First, first fish of the day. Holy shit. He's looking better than I thought he would. Let's get us about 10 more of those, JD. In the excitement, I neglected to uh, record JD catching about a two and a half pounder on a white chatter bait in the same area, and me catching another about two and a half pounder on a white spinner bait in the same area. Uh, but that kind of died off, so we went out to a little deeper water to see how it would work. I'm throwing that same white spinner bait, letting it sink and slow rolling it near the bottom in about 15 to 20 feet of water here. Slow rolling the spinner bait up. This is the view from the other camera as I hooked that fish. Uh, JD was drop shotting and put his rod down, and you can see what happened from there. Thank you. It's great. It's a good day. Yeah, man. Yeah. Get that limit. Get that limit. Get that limit. Slow rolling the spinner bait up deep. I got one. Come on, one. Need help, you guys. Okay. Don't step backwards. To a different cove and tried some more shallow water. Uh, didn't have any success, but as we were leaving, we ran over the top of a brush pile outside of a dock and uh, looked like there might be some fish around us, so we slowed down to give it a try.
something to call later. I wonder if that statement's going to come back to haunt me. He's 12 and a half. We like brick pretty well. This is JD on that same brush pile. He didn't make it? No, he made it. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> He's probably close to 13, isn't he? Yeah. How dare you second guess me, sir? You need to come on, dude. <laughs> we get the fish. Well, I was going to swing them in, but you were like so nice, you got the freaking net. Like... This is a different offshore rock and brush pile combined and uh, it was a little hard to fish because it was getting really windy at this point but uh, we gave it our best. Obviously I'm showing us catching them on the drop shot here. We did try some jigs. Um, I tried slow rolling the spinner bait out there a little bit. I also tried an underspin for a little while. We just couldn't get them to hit any of the moving baits so we uh, kept going back to the drop shot. some out here, but I'm hoping for something a little bigger. What's that? Yeah. Huh? He's got blood on him, leeches or something? I don't see blood. He's got, I mean, I don't see leeches. I, he's got some bubbles. I don't think that's a 12 incher though. Nope, 11. I saw one directly beneath the trolling motor here. Again, we're in about 15 to 20 feet of water, so I dropped straight down to it. Ah, he probably would have kept, uh, but it wasn't that big. It was maybe another pounder, a 12 inch, 12, maybe 13 max. So I hate to lose it, but it wasn't a terrible loss. At this point, I'm obviously getting a little frustrated, but again, it wasn't a huge loss. It was maybe 12, 13 inches. I think the fish were kind of swimming towards me uh, as they were picking up the bait, and I, they were just so small it was hard to get the resistance against the fish to get a good hook set on them. We're out on another isolated brush pile offshore here, um, still throwing the drop shot.
appreciate JD being a great net man. Even when there's a small one, he's always there with the net to, to be ready to help you out. Great job, JD. The small fish finally gave me a limit in the box. Trying to get the boat readjusted after that last small fish we caught, and uh, as I'm doing that, I'm I'm watching my depth finder, and I, I see something else just really? below the boat there, so I drop straight down to it. I know he's behind us. <laughs> I didn't realize I drilled him up quite that tight, but. I don't think that one's going to do me any good. I saw him on the sonar and dropped straight really? down to him. That's cool. This one did make for a very, very small call. Maybe an ounce, an ounce and a half at max. Don't have to move the fish quite as well. videos, I've missed a couple of key catches, so I decided to show you here as we were uh, taking them out of the live well to put them in the bag. You can see the, the final uh, count and the final catch that we had. Uh, while I'm doing this, I'd also say that uh, I'm doing some voiceover here where I usually type stuff in and you have to read it, so I'd appreciate some feedback from you guys whether you, you like the uh, being able to read it better or you like my voiceover. Uh, either way, I appreciate you watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. into this tournament I had one club win on the Chickahominy River and uh, I think three or maybe four second place finishes uh, one big fish also on Chickahominy River that's the first one you got wasn't it should be doing But it's funny right now Nothing seems to come to my mind You know, fishing tends to put me at ease And straighten out my priorities I know nothing's more important Than what's on the end of my line Gone fishing Gonna sit back, relax, and leave